Hello everybody, in this video I want to replace touchable opacity component with uh, scale animation like micro interactions is important in terms of user interface and feeling which we left after interaction with the app and I really like the effect when you press the button it feels like you really press it uh, so I'm gonna use re reanimated library version 2 for this purpose so let's install it we need to do regular yarn add Also, we need to add Babel plugin. Also we need install pods and that's it for iOS. Let's add configuration for Android. Go to build Gradle and here we need enable Hermes, set true. Next go to the main application. Uh, class mm, here we need to add those two imports and this method as well And also ProGuard config. Okay, ProGuard rules. Put it here. And look like that's it. So we can start build our component so first of all i want to place this touchable opacity so let's create new component and call it touchable scale Let's add prop types. And children. We will pass React node to this component on press. And maybe scale to number let's use touchable without feedback And 
render children inside on press will pass on press oh, also we need disable it the boolean and I think this enough just try it import our component touchable scale scale 2 will be like we want scale down our component to 3% on press action let's take a look uh, I think we need to restart Okay, something wrong. On press, nothing happened. So we pass on press. Okay, it's disabled for all components. Yeah, now it's working so now we can add our animation here Let's import animated from react native reanimated we will need to use animated style use shared value also use derived it value and probably something else we'll see later let's start with press state use shared value shared value is the value which can be invoked from the both uh, native ui thread and from javascript thread and it falls by default and we want to set it true on press in so pressed value true and on press out we want set value false now we want to create our animation progress value we will use drive it value for this purpose and for depending on pressed state mm, we will update our progress with time and function and easy let's create also timing config will be duration and 
just easy. Okay, I don't remember what should be in config. Let's take a look with timing. If pressed scale 2 and config will be duration and with timing config. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, easy. Basically, it should be duration and easy easy liner okay sorry should be one not scale two and If not pressed, we should back to zero. So our animation progress will be from zero to one. Now we can create uh, animated style with use animated style uh, hook. And we want interpolate our progress value. the scale value is interpolate progress then from zero to one and end results will be one for zero and scale two for one and now we can return style uh, transform we have array of objects and pass our scale here now we want to wrap our children in animated view with style animated style And let's take a look. There's some error. Let's point to the use derived value. Okay, 
sorry, I think it should be function. Something like this, and we will return the result, I guess. Let's take a look. Now the problem with interpolate. Okay, progress. I think we need to use progress value. Cool. Okay, let's comment for a sec on press and you see it's nicely scaled down on press and scale back on press out. Let's back our on press action. And is there is nothing happen on disabled items. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the new videos.